Shalom and the Lord bless you, dear ones. This fast is over. I've got 11 minutes, 11 minutes, and then I'm going to eat. I just want to bless you because six o'clock, the Sabbath starts. It may already have started for you, depending on where you're at in the world. But I bless you with rest. Don't forget to rest. The Sabbath is another one of those um, strategies for receiving that we have been given by the Lord. So if you go and you read Hebrews, it talks about entering into God's rest, right? So in the rest, you can Sabbath and the Lord does the work. Jesus demonstrated this to you. Remember, people were always fussing at him because he was doing work on the Sabbath. So then he would say, you know, it shouldn't be surprising that I'm doing work on the Sabbath. You know, I'm doing my father's work and things like that because you can rest on the Sabbath. You can actually not have to work yourself seven days a week and you can still prosper exceedingly. The Lord will make that happen for you if you give him a Sabbath each week. I'm a witness of that. There have been tons of times where I remember that like the first time I got like a $500 seed into the ministry. Um, I was in need, in big need, and I was going to keep, you know, staying on Facebook and Twitter and social media posting and try to interact with people and all that stuff, get them to buy stuff. And then I was like, no, I'm going to honor the Sabbath. That's something that I, that the Lord taught me about and something I'm going to do. And I, I did my Sabbath and I'm telling you within minutes into the Sabbath, my PayPal's like, ding, and there's $500 for you. Just things like that. And that's not even the first time it's happened multiple times where it's like, I was in need of something or in want of something. And then was tempted not to Sabbath, but then the, when I did Sabbath, the Lord provided for me. So just watch those things, you know, he will show up for you. If it's something that he ordained, he'll show up for you. And the Sabbath, of course, he ordained. So real quickly, before I let you go, let's read over our creation list real quickly. I've been reading over my creation list. And one of the things I had on my creation list is I have supernatural hearing now and always, and I've been having trouble with my ears since um, before March, but the Lord healed my left ear just like that one day when I went into the courts of heaven to pray. And then this right ear has been a gradual healing. And so it is like almost completely open. And the way I can explain this is it felt like there was like a water bubble in my, in my ear. And then like, I could feel it shrinking. Like I can tell that it's, it's really, really small now. And plus I also have hearing in this ear that I didn't have before. So the Lord's, this one's been a gradual healing and the other one was immediate. But the interesting thing is, is, um, the healing on this right ear started because I was listening to Dr. Colburn and he was talking about how bad fried foods and dairy are for your sinuses. And I always have sinus issues. You know, that's like usually the only type of sickness I ever get is a sinus type issue. And by um, cutting out um, so much dairy and so much uh, fried food on the week and then having a cheat day on the weekend, it is doing tremendous things for decreasing mucus and stuff like that. And mucus causes sickness. It traps germs and all that kind of stuff inside of it. And if it sits in your body, it causes sickness. So it's a good thing to get rid of um, excess mucus, excess mucus, excuse me, in your body. So just praise God for that. And see, the Lord has all these things for us. Everything we need, he has some type of strategy for healing, you know, provision, anything, whatever you need, the Lord can get that for you. Just ask him, you know, and don't put your faith in man. Jeremiah tells us is cursed is the man who puts their trust in man. You have to get in the habit of going to the Lord for everything because he's got everything for you, you know, and he wants to give it to you. And that personal relationship you have with him, that's what makes a difference in how you receive things from him and how he offers things to you. You know, when you have that personal relationship with him, he's offering you things in a different way. You know, you're not struggling to get things. He comes to you and says, this is where I'd like to take you now. Would you like to come along with me? And because you love him and you trust him, you say yes. And then he starts throwing blessings all over your house, your neighborhood, everywhere. And you don't know what to do. All right. Because you've got too many. Oh, that reminds me. I've got some testimonies. We had five testimonies come into the ministry today. The first one was my ears that I um, am sharing with you. The next one was that we got a huge ministry seed in and it was the hundredfold return on some persecution that we've been going through for a little bit too long so we've stepped into that hundredfold for persecution so if you are covenant partner with this ministry you have now stepped into the hundredfold but yes it does come with persecution the thing is is that when i realized it was persecution and that i was eligible for the hundredfold that completely changed my attitude about how i was dealing with the persecution I stopped stressing out about it and worrying about it and saying, oh, there's an opportunity for blessing coming to me here if I can do the go the godly route. But thankfully, uh, Patty had to do most of the work with that. So I just got to change my attitude and receive, which is awesome. But we praise God for that hundredfold return. It's awesome. And um, another one testimony, we got a great testimony, an amazing testimony. And we have 
debt free and college tuition paid in full anointing on this ministry huge so this is not the first co college tuition paid in full it's the second this year okay within the last couple of months so um got a testimony today that um a wife told us that she participated in our fast and she's been praying and sewing and um her husband started school his tuition needs to be paid. They did not want to have any loans because we don't need loans in the kingdom. If the Lord tells us, yeah, go ahead and go that route, we go that route. But but other than that, we ask him for the instructions that if he says I can pay it, let him pay it. OK, so they didn't want to get loans. They trusted the Lord. They were sowing. They were fasting. They were believing and they were in faith. And then, um, of course, the school's threatening. Well, you know, we're going to start dropping you from classes. So you'll be out of all your classes by Tuesday. Well, today. Um, the husband went to work and then shortly after called the wife with the testimony saying my boss is going to pay my tuition for this semester and going to pay it today. So look at the things that the Lord does and look how powerful that fast was. I got what I needed during that fast plus tons of revelation about other things like um, revelation for this new year that we're going into starting next Tuesday, 5782. Listen, it's the year of the church and Jesus Christ as the head of the church. Colossians 1.18 is a scripture that the Lord gave me for this upcoming year. We are in the planning stages of our conference. We have me, Patty, Selena, and you know I love Selena. I'm telling you because I know her personally. Um, the way she perseveres and the way she walks out her faith are always an inspiration to me. And plus, when I needed her back in December 2016, she was right there helping me get through a really rough season. So I'm definitely bringing her back for the Supernatural You Conference. And it's also a Shemitah year. So this year, 5782, is like you can, if you want to make Jesus the head of your life in 5782, you're going to participate in all the benefits and blessings of the Shemitah. That means debt freedom, um, prosperity, elevation, all of that good stuff that we'll talk about at the conference. So put that on your calendar for October. Leave some space open and you will definitely be, definitely be blessed by it. I guarantee it. All right, so let's just read over creation list scriptures real fast. It is so. Elohim said, let us make Zarya in our image and likeness and let her have dominion. I can decree a thing and it will be done for me and light will shine on my path. I don't doubt in my heart. I believe what I say happens and it's done for me. I abide in Yeshua and his word abides in me. I ask whatever I desire and it's done for me. I call things that are not as though they already exist. Now faith is the words creating what I hope for. The title deed to things not yet seen. By faith I understand my world is framed by my words. So what's seen wasn't made out of things that are visible. And then after I read those scriptures, then I declare the things that are on my creation list. And like I said, one of the things that I have on my creation list that I'm about to start off as complete is I have supernatural hearing now and always. All right, loved ones, again, I bless you in Jesus' name. I hope you enjoyed your fast. I hope you got the revelation that you wanted, that you were looking for, or some type of encounter with the Lord because they were definitely available to you if you um, submitted yourself to them. I am a witness of that. Everybody had a successful fast. It looks like great things. Now I'm going to eat. I've been thinking about nothing but food all day today. I did do my two hours of praying in tongues, but I'm telling you, I still, while I was praying, all I was thinking about was food. It's ridiculous. I'm going to let you go and I will be back with you on Sunday. It's the last prayer call for 5781. We will step into the heaven courts of heaven. Ask the Lord, where do we locate our provision for this week? If you're somebody who doesn't have, you know, you don't always know that you're going to have provision from week to week to week. That call would be a tremendous blessing to you. Even though it's the last one, you can still hop on the call. It's at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. You can go to 1123.life and get all that information about those calls and everything the ministry does and um, definitely covenant partner with us if you want to seven dollars a month will completely change your life i'm a witness of this i'm telling you i was one of the things that i actually got caught up on administratively yesterday while i was keeping my mind off of food was updating the prayer um the prayer line list so we have this prayer line that you can call in or email to us and we pray for you and we pray for you till we get those testimonies. So I was filling in testimonies of people who had already called. Oh, that reminds me of another testimony I got like two days ago. Um, somebody that asked for a prayer for their mom who was given the dementia diagnosis. And I was like, you speak to their spirit.
speak directly to your own spirit and um, you know deal with her that way not in the natural and make sure she has constant positive things of the word to listen to and so they sent me a testimony um, through Twitter message the other day said my mom is more lucid now she understands who I am and she knows where she's at and she hasn't been that way for a long time so I'm telling you we do pray for you especially our partners we pray for you daily and um, we are always willing and available. Just send those prayer requests in, 1123ministries at gmail.com. We'll get on those, and then we will report back to you after we've prayed. All right, dear ones, I will see you next week. Copyright 2021, Zari Banks, Inc.